So today, you guys, I want to talk about this air compressor by Spinarchy. It is the Sandy 2000. And I can't tell you how many times I've run into this problem of having air escape out of my tire for whatever reason. And I just can't make it to a gas station uh, or a station, a place to, you know, fill the air in my tires. So this is good to get you along to where you need to go. Uh, this works great. And as you're going to see during my video that I'm going to be showing you it at work. And I did charge it overnight. And it comes with a plug. I'm going to go over some of the features with you right now. So this rechargeable a tire inflator with a smart digital LED display with cordless air pump for cars, motorcycles, e-bikes, and balls. So, so here it is right here. This is really nice. It's very portable. It's very small. I'm going to turn on the power button right here, and you're going to see the LED screen light up. Now, this is really nice because it's very clear, and especially in the daylight, you can see exactly what's on the screen. I'm going to press that power button again. Now, this shows you that it's for, there's for the e-bike or motorcycle right here, bicycles, and for balls. So, it's going to give you an estimation of what exactly is going to need to go in your tire. And again, if we press that back, it goes to cars. Now, it does say 36, but... I can tell you in my car, it's going to tell you usually on the tires what the PSI is going to be. And so that's what that's what you end up doing on the um, on the car. So right here is the um, this is the hose right here. This is what's going to put the air in the tire. Okay, so brace yourself because I am going to uh, put it on really tight. I'm going to actually press this button. You're going to hear how loud this is. And you can feel the air coming out. Very powerful for being such a small unit. Now on these on these plus buttons, you can also make it go up as far as what you want your PSI to be. If your tire specifically says what it is, then you can obviously go up or you can go down right here. And right here is a light. So if you need a flashlight to actually see the uh, tire, if it's at nighttime in your car, uh, tire has um, less air in it, or if the air has escaped from your tire, this light is going to help you to actually see where to plug this in. Now, it also comes with this really nice carry case. So, you it's got a little uh, tie here on the top. So, it's got a nice little carry case that you can put it in, stick it in your trunk or under the seat. It comes with this great little plug right here with the name of it with a nice long cord. It's probably about two and a half, three feet. Maybe it's about almost three feet, it looks like. So it's really nice. And I plugged it in, like I said, uh, overnight. And I was using it. Uh, I was using it on my car. I don't have a bicycle yet, but I did use it on my tires. And so you should be seeing those videos right now. And um, I really like it. It's a nice solid weight. I'm not really sure how much it weighs. This is a nice, a nice solid little unit. And like I said, it's very portable. It's very easy just to put inside your car. And it's just something that I think is a necessity for everybody uh, to, to want to have. So I think this is really great. And again, with the light, you can't go wrong with that because a lot of times we don't carry flashlights with us and it's dark outside and they may need to put air in the tires. So I'm going to go over some of the features of this unit right now. So it's 12 volts. It's battery powered, which is, you know, you charge it um, at home. I would keep actually the plug with you in case you go somewhere and then you can plug it in wherever you're at to charge it. And it says that it's suitable for cars, SUVs, bikes, e-bikes, motorcycle tires, balls, and swimming rings. The LED light with three models, the flashlight, the strobe, the SOS. So let's try that. Let's try this. So if you turn on the light and hold, so you're going to click it again to go to different sections. So obviously too, like if you're putting air in your tires, it's also, and it's nighttime, it's going to let people know that you're there and you know, it's going to help you. It's going to help a lot for people to see you and see that you're there putting air in your tire. Cause a lot of times it's not very safe to just pull off the side of the freeway. So that's a really good feature to have. 
Now, it does say that the Sandy 2000 Tire Inflatable Portable Air Compressor can provide 150 PSI of maximum pressure, uh, which is really great. I think this is what my tire is, a 195-65R15. That one is what I think mine is. So, it says various models are available for cars, motorcycles, bicycles, and balls. Uh, besides, there are uh, three units to choose from. Now, this one I really like because I have a small car. And, you know, sometimes, depending on weather change, your tires may lose air uh, for various reasons. And this is great. There's no need in just driving all the way to a gas station and possibly ruining the tire. If there's a lot of air missing, uh, you, can, you can fill up the tire and, you know, go to a shop and have them really examine it and make sure it's okay. It says here to set the preset pressure value and it will shut off automatically. That's another good feature because to have something shut off automatically is great because you don't want to just uh, have an air compressor putting air in a tire that can bust. I've seen this happen before with balls um, years ago when people would you know, use the hand pumps or something. You really don't have an accurate measure of how much should be going in the tire or what PSI it is at that moment. I like the fact that it has these little accessories here. It has all these little accessories for bicycles, e-bikes, for basketballs, soccer balls, um, everything you can think of, you know, and also obviously this for your car tires. You know, for all those soccer moms out there, this is great to have in your car. Uh, when you go out you know, to the field and stuff. And so I used to play soccer when I was young. And we didn't have these when I was younger. And so this is great to have in case your ball deflates or you have other balls that need, you know, air inside them. So this is a really nice, uh, nice unit to have with you. Uh, so you don't have to stop the game. And I just, I really like it. And, you know, the reviews on this are wonderful. The reviews are just great. I really like it. I think that my mom is going to need one of these too because I'm not going to let her have this one, but I think she's going to I think she's going to want it um as well. Now it does say that it would inflate a fully flat tire all the way to full within 6 minutes. You would think for this being such a you would think for this being such a small unit that it would not have that power. This is a powerhouse. This is great. This is this is really a solid unit. Um, I would though, if you did have to char, if you, I'm sorry, if you did have to fill a tire that much with air, I would suggest plugging it back in and fully charging it. You want to always have this with you. I think it's a great thing to have, whether it's in the garage, whether it's in the car. Uh, the truck, what if you're out for the weekend or something, uh, you know, it's, it's just a good thing to have with you. Now, on the bottom of this, you also have a USB and a USB to C. So, actually, you can charge your phone with it. So, what's better than that? You can use this as a portable power bank in an emergency. Uh, what if you're out there on the road, your, your tire starts to lose air, you want to fill up your tire? Well, you know what? Um, you can also charge your phone to make sure that you have plenty of juice in your phone as well. So that's just another extra feature, which is amazing with this unit. I like the fact that it stops, it stops putting the air in once you reach that PSI that you've programmed it to do. It just completely stops. So it's not gonna overinflate. I can't stress, I can't stress that enough because we've all probably had that situation where we have to play a guessing game or take the compressor off and I forgot the device name, that thing you plug in, uh, the gauge. You know, when you check the tire pressure, it's inconvenient. This way it just completely shuts off. It tells you what the pressure is at at that moment and you're good to go. Now it does say the charging time would be two hours. I let it charge a little bit longer. I just want to make sure that everything was fully charged. And I really, um, I really had good luck with it. Now I have not been out on the road lately where I've had a problem with my tires, but my tires were a little bit low in the driveway. We've had a lot of cold weather, a lot of hot weather, and that can also make the air in the tires escape. 
And again, the reviews have just been amazing. I'm very impressed with this. If I was on a star system, I would have to give this a five star because of this I'm so impressed with. I would definitely get another one. I think this is great. I have had, let's say I have an air compressor at home, but you know, they're really big and they're really heavy. And this is just a really great buy. This is a great unit, very solid. I think y'all would be happy if you guys haven't tried it out. Be sure to take a look at it. I will have a link in the description under the video and uh, try it out. Give these people a try. Take a look and, and see for yourself, especially all the video reviews. They're amazing. There's so many down here that people are just loving this unit just like myself. So, you know, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this review of the Sabernarchy Sandy 2000 air compressor. It's portable and you charge it up and you're good to go. And it also doubles as a charger for your phone in case you're out there on the road and you need to charge your phone in an emergency. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to others, share a smile. You just might make someone's day.